Paul Graham, Hackers and Painters, Big Ideas from the Computer Age. And Hackers and Painters, Big Ideas from the Computer Age, Paul Graham sheds light on the unconventional world of hackers and their surprising similarities with painters. At the core of this book is the idea that unconventional thinking, exemplified by nerds, has the power to transform society. By examining fashion and moral trends, programming languages, entrepreneurship, and even the daunting problem of spam emails, Graham uncovers profound insights into how unconventional thinking can lead to success and innovation. Get ready to explore the fascinating world of hackers and painters, as well as how their creative approaches can impact our lives in various domains. Fashion, Morals, and Nerds Fashion and morals share a common ground, they're both time and location dependent. As tastes and societal values change, so do clothing preferences and moral guidelines. Interestingly, one subgroup remains seemingly unaffected by these fluctuations, nerds. These intellectually driven individuals are more focused on expanding their knowledge than adhering to fashionable conventions. Although their obliviousness to trends might make them unpopular among their peers, especially during high school, it doesn't negatively impact their ability to thrive in the real world. Hackers, Painters and Creative Minds When you hear the word, hacker, you might think of a nefarious individual breaking into computer systems. However, in reality, a hacker refers to a skilled programmer who is able to create innovative solutions, much like an artist. Both hackers and painters share the mindset of solving problems through the creation of unique concepts. They thrive when working intuitively, spontaneously addressing challenges as they arise. This artistic approach, whether applied to coding or painting, results in work with abstract value that cannot be precisely measured through conventional metrics. The true measure of success lies in the level of satisfaction and pleasure experienced by the end user or audience. This revelation came to the author after attending art school, following a degree in computer science, where he discovered the fundamental similarities between the disciplines. Ultimately, whether you're a hacker or a painter, the shared goal is the creation of something good and valuable. The Rebellious Nature of Hackers Most people believe that effective programming requires strictly following rules and conventions. However, the reality is quite different. Hackers often break the rules to achieve success, driven by intellectual curiosity and a rebellious spirit that spurs innovation. By challenging social norms and authority, their innate disregard for traditional boundaries opens up possibilities for new ideas and approaches in programming, which in turn can lead to lucrative opportunities. Contrary to popular belief, successful computer programming doesn't always demand strict adherence to rules and conventions. In fact, the true essence of hacking often involves bending, or even breaking, established rules. Like any profession, the art of hacking is primarily learned by examining the work of predecessors, and occasionally, this might entail circumventing laws that safeguard intellectual property. Driven by an intense curiosity about cutting-edge technologies like leading software platforms, hackers will sometimes resort to illegal measures, such as breaching another person's computer, just to study and analyze these intriguing technologies. While their actions may classify them as criminals, it's essential to note that the primary motivation for most hackers is curiosity rather than theft. When computer hacking was first deemed a crime, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, faced significant challenges in processing these cases, as the majority of hackers were fueled by intellectual curiosity, a motive hitherto unknown to the Bureau. One might argue that hackers should adhere to the law. Still, their relentless defiance is ironically the reason they excel in their craft. Being rebellious entails questioning authority figures, be it the government or industry experts. This desire to challenge established ideas fosters innovation and progress in programming, qualities that are integral to a hacker's success. Often labeled as nerds, these intelligent individuals who disregard social conventions possess a unique ability to critique and enhance existing systems. As we proceed, we will explore how these rebellious geniuses leverage their innovative minds to accumulate substantial wealth. 
The Startup Path to Wealth Starting a company can lead to substantial wealth, and it's both fair and beneficial for everyone. Unlike working for a large corporation, in a startup, your hard work translates into increased chances of success and a bigger payout. Wealth, different from money, can be created without taking away from others. The richest individuals often work harder and create products that benefit society, justifying their wealth accumulation. Embarking on the entrepreneurial journey to start a company might seem like a daunting task, but for skilled programmers and dedicated individuals, it can pave the way to significant wealth. Startups, unlike working for large corporations, offer an avenue in which every ounce of effort you put in directly influences your company's success and, ultimately, your financial achievements. Take the author's experience with their startup, ViaWeb, as an example, they, along with their co-founders, put in countless hours building an online shopping application which eventually sold for millions. The traditional corporate career path might not afford the same financial leaps, despite putting in similar hard work. Some may argue that this focus on accruing wealth furthers income inequity. However, it's important to distinguish between wealth and money. Wealth represents the items and experiences people desire, while money simply enables the exchange of these goods. In this context, wealth can be created by anyone without diminishing others' shares, as demonstrated by someone restoring a classic car and unintentionally creating new wealth. Moreover, it's worth considering that the wealthiest individuals, like CEOs and professional athletes, might actually deserve their abundance. They have likely worked harder and contributed to society through their efforts and products, justifying their increased wealth. For example, if you work 10 times harder in your startup than a typical corporate employee, it seems fair for you to earn 10 times the income, especially if your work results in a product benefiting countless others. Pursuing a successful startup venture doesn't only lead to personal gain but also positively impacts society as a whole. Cater to users' needs In the world of product creation, much like how painters need to please their audience, the end user must be the central focus for hackers. The, worse is better, approach advocates for the early launch of a prototype to gather crucial feedback from real users. Jane Austen followed this approach by reading her books aloud to her family and making adjustments based on their suggestions. When a product meets users' needs and expectations, they're more likely to purchase it, making user satisfaction the cornerstone of a successful company. Satisfying users not only generates revenues to improve the product, but also makes the company more attractive to potential acquirers. Catering to users' requirements is the key to scaling and sustaining a thriving business. Versatility of programming languages Programmers often boast about their ability to code in multiple languages like C++, Python, and Java. However, computers only understand machine language, which consists of specific combinations of ones and zeros. To bridge the gap, programmers use a compiler to translate their chosen programming language into machine language. The multitude of programming languages exist due to their varying aptitudes for different tasks, just as expressing certain concepts is easier in one spoken language than another, the same applies to programming languages. Moreover, the constant evolution of existing languages and the development of new ones is facilitated by the accessibility of technology today, allowing individuals to adapt and create languages based on their unique preferences and requirements. Evolving Tastes in Programming Just as people have personal preferences when judging art, hackers present their own distinct tastes in choosing programming languages. As hackers grow and refine their skills, their programming preferences also mature. An effective programming language will cater to hackers' evolving needs. If a language is overly complicated or restrictive, hackers will simply switch to another. In contrast, if a language meets their requirements, it gains popularity and undergoes further development, becoming even better over time. This continuous enhancement is evident in open-source languages like Perl and Python, which were initially created by individuals but later released for the public to modify and improve, demonstrating the power of evolving tastes in programming. Choosing the right programming language 
When selecting a programming language for your business, it's common to lean towards popular options, as they provide compatibility with various programs and a larger pool of programmers to hire. However, popular languages might not be the best fit for specific tasks, potentially limiting your product's performance. By considering lesser-known languages tailored to your needs, you can gain a competitive edge and set your business apart from the competition, just as the author did with ViaWeb and Lisp. Deciding on the right programming language for your business can be puzzling, especially if you're a non-programmer. Many businesses opt for well-known languages, since they ensure compatibility with a wide range of other programs and simplify the process of hiring skilled programmers. Moreover, popular languages tend to have more active hacker communities, keeping them current and evolving. However, there's a flip side to this coin. Popular languages might not always deliver the best performance for specific tasks. By using a language tailored to your needs, you could enhance your product's performance and gain a significant advantage over your competitors. Furthermore, your unique choice of language will make it harder for rivals to assess your technical platform and strategy. This approach was exemplified by the author when he developed ViaWeb using the lesser known language Lisp which provided him with a technical edge and kept his competitors guessing. Tackling the Spam Menace Good hackers can come up with creative solutions to deal with spam emails, analyzing individual properties and employing personalized statistical filtering. But they must also balance the need to catch spam with not missing important emails, accepting that spam filters cannot be 100% accurate and continuing to improve them over time. We all know the bane of spam emails, those pesky, unsolicited advertisements that flood our inboxes. As a skilled hacker, tackling spam email is a challenge you'd likely approach with a variety of innovative methods. You might start by identifying common properties of spam emails. For instance, many spam messages begin with, Dear Friend. Writing a code to automatically put emails with this phrase into your spam folder could be an effective way of filtering out unwanted emails. Another method would be to use statistical filtering. By analyzing every word in an incoming email, your computer would calculate the probability of the message being spam. Messages deemed likely to be spam would then be sent to your spam folder. However, personalizing this statistical approach could prove even more useful. By saving specific messages from the spam folder that are relevant to you, even if they meet the statistical criteria for spam, you can tailor the filtering to your preferences. For example, labeling messages containing the word LISP as non-spam, or marking correspondence you've communicated with as safe, would help to tailor your filter towards emails of importance to you. As a good hacker, you must also consider the consequences of your actions. In trying to stop spam, you run the risk of filtering out important emails. No spam filter is flawless, and it may inadvertently catch legitimate emails. To address this, you may need to periodically go through your spam folder to catch any critical messages. Using these instances to improve your spam filter can prevent repeated mistakes. While spam may seem like an insurmountable obstacle, filtering it out effectively is possible. The key lies in approaching the problem thoughtfully and continuously refining your filter to strike the right balance. Ultimately, Hackers and Painters demonstrates that creative thinking and unconventional approaches are the driving forces behind innovation. Whether through the lens of fashion, morals, programming languages, or entrepreneurship, we can learn much from the shared traits of hackers and painters. The book also emphasizes the importance of perpetual learning, adaptation, and fine-tuning our skills to master the art of problem-solving. By breaking away from conventional norms and embracing our inner nerd, we can not only better understand the ever-evolving world of technology but also unlock hidden potential for innovation, growth, and success.